Hello, right. This video is hopefully going to round off a two month period of extreme enjoyment. But also uh, relatively extreme um, indulgence as well um, in every sense, but mainly the sense of eating and drinking and all that sort of stuff. I know that's what most of the subscribers have been following me for is the AS journey. And I thought I'd come back in with a two month round off or like um, a two month update pretty much since the last video where I talked about going on holiday and relaxing a bit. And now this is like, yeah, these are the effects. So yeah, what I can say is I have definitely, definitely enjoyed myself and relaxed pretty much everything in terms of dietary and a lot of health things as well. I've not killed myself. <laughs> I've not just like done all nighters every single night or like had chicken nuggets for breakfast, although I have had some questionable meal choices. Have you ever seen a tray that's more beige? About going like into, oh, I've fucked it and all that sort of shit. I kind of wanted to do it. I felt good from doing it. Um, it's like time off the calendar, time off looking at the time, <laughs> um, time away from like thinking about every single sort of like meal and ingredient and that stuff. So it's mentally been really good for me, but physically I can confirm that it's definitely uh, created more inflammation. Can you believe it? Who'd have thought adding in ice cream and cereal and cake would have caused more inflammation? But yeah, it's definitely caused more inflammation. But what I would say, I'm not gonna lie and say it, it's messed me up, everyone go eat clean. I would definitely say it's not been anywhere near as bad as I thought it would. And trust me, I have indulged the past two months. This isn't just the odd bit of ice cream here and there. This is like holiday living. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, that's my case. I, like not everyone's going to be the same as me and have the same reaction or be the same same point on the line or the same age as me but this is just my result pretty much of eating rubbish for two months good stuff mixed with a lot of rubbish I didn't just stop eating vegetables or any decent meat I was still eating that stuff but just gluten high starch soy all just all sorts of rubbish um, and yeah it's making me because I haven't had too much of a severe reaction and like I'm still living kind of how I want to. I've had a bit of a increase in lower back stiffness and a bit of an SIJ inflammation increase. Um, but like nothing, nothing that's really stopping me from walking like I was last year. The aim is, yeah, pretty much get back to that really good way of eating. No nonsense, no rubbish. Um, but because of the lack, like because it's not cause too much of an issue. I'm thinking, is it the kind of thing you can moderate like once a week or once every two weeks, whatever you have that sort of relaxed day. Um, but I don't know if that, that works with autoimmune diseases and, and angst bond. I don't know whether you can't just be relaxed. I'm not sure, but what definitely sh for sure is that I've had two months of eating rubbish and not too much has happened. I've definitely got worse and less healthy, but I mean, wouldn't anyone really after that? Um, yeah, so there's a two month update. I'm not going to just ramble on about the same stuff. Uh, give me a message or drop a comment if you've got any questions and I'll give them an answer. Hopefully more videos coming up to do with my training, my eating, general life and updates on Angst Bond. Um, everything, like every week kind of brings a new challenge for me. Um, with the past month or two being the lower back stiffness, I'd, I'd never had it over the whole two and a half years of having it. July, June, pretty, pretty much June, maybe. Yeah, it started. I was like, what's this? And yeah, I'm sure you all know. Wake up in the morning and anytime you try and flex over, it's like, oh, that's dead painful. Like, that's, <laughs> it's like, where does that come from? It shouldn't be getting that at the age of 24. But yeah, I'll do more content on that, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get back on it and um, get back to those zero pain levels. Zero, I don't want one, two, three, four, one, zero. So yeah, cheers for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, see you in a bit.